Yo, 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 it's Overflow. What's going on, you guys? How are you guys doing today? First things first about the gameplay. Got some Black Ops 3 in the background for you guys. Hope that you definitely enjoy that. And today we're going to be covering the fact that Black Ops 3 has just announced that it will have supply drops in the game. It's going to be pretty insane. It's been confirmed to be in Black Ops 3. Pretty amazing, you guys. Lots of people are talking about it right now. Some people are happy. Some people are upset. And I want to know what you guys are thinking. Are you guys excited for Supply Drops to return? Or are you upset about it? I want to know. And I want to go ahead and give you guys my opinions, some facts about it, and also some ideas as to how it might go. Because these Supply Drops might be a lot different from the ones that we've seen in Advanced Warfare. So go ahead and drop a like. Let's shoot for 5,000 likes. That would be absolutely awesome. And make sure you subscribe to the channel because if you're not, then you're missing out, dude. Tons of Black Ops 3 content, tons of stuff happening here. Make sure you subbed. Let's get into it. What's up, Flows? Don't. You knows. I love all you. Alright, guys. So, it has just come out. As you guys know, the game is coming out very, very soon. And tons of people are already, you know, there's little leaks and stuff happening. Tons of people already have the game. All this craziness is going on. And in the game, we have heard that there will be taunts and, ge and gestures and, you know, dance moves. Kind of like Destiny. You know how Destiny has the poses. There's going to be something similar to that in the game. And the only way to unlock these, apparently, is through Supply Drops. So that in itself confirms that Supply Drops will be back in the game. But I do think that they're going to be a lot different. So if you guys don't know if you've been living under a rock or something like that, Advanced Warfare had Supply Drops. And in these Supply Drops, you can unlock new guns, new weapons, new clothes, new camos, new outfits, tons of stuff, right? Double XP, care packages, all this stuff. And a lot of people like that. But there were on the other side of the coin, there were a lot of people who didn't like it because you were paying in, in a way... A lot of these things you had to kind of pay to win type of scenario like you could pay to get more supply drops and unlock better guns you just had that you had that chance you had that ability to do that stuff and because of that a lot of people kind of looked down on the supply drops because sometimes there were people who just because they bought a supply drop or just because they bought more than you or whatever they had you know obsidian steeds these crazy guns that were just stronger they changed the actual um, attributes that the gun had they would change the guns to make them stronger, you know, make you faster when you have the gun, all this stuff. And I think that, that was the main reason in Advanced Warfare that a lot of people didn't like the supply drops. They didn't like the fact that it was pay to win, you know, quote unquote, that's what a lot of people were calling it. And in addition to that, these guns, you, if somebody had a gun that had a higher damage output than you, you kind of would get effed a little bit, man. And if you got shot by them, guess what? They got a higher damage than you, that's what it is. I really do believe that David Vonderhaar and the whole Black Ops 3 team took that into consideration. In my opinion, I think that the type of supply drops that we're going to be seeing in Black Ops 3 are strictly going to be cosmetic changes, simple things, things like the dance moves, things like the taunts and the gestures, and perhaps different camos, different gun camos, uh, rare things that you can't unlock normally. If you guys play CSGO at all, you'll know that in CSGO they have supply drops. They're called cases. You can do case openings. And with this, you don't actually unlock anything crazy. You don't get a gun that has double damage or anything like that. What you get is rare skins, rare camos, rare knives is what you unlock with the CSGO stuff. And I really think that Black Ops 3 will probably take a turn and do it that way. I do think that these supply drops are not going to actually affect in-game stats. They're going to affect the camos. They're going to give you rare stuff. Maybe they'll give you different uh, looks to your knife. Maybe instead of you having a regular, a regular knife, maybe you'll have, you know, a hatchet or something. But it won't actually affect your damage. It will just be something for cosmetic, purely cosmetic. And I think that that would be the best way to go about that. And if that was the way that they went about it, how would you guys feel? Would you prefer it um, if they just did cosmetic changes or... Do you want them to do what they did in Advanced Warfare where, you know, you got new guns and you got, you know, these guns with higher damage outputs or, you know, faster movement speed? Would you prefer that or would you prefer it to not affect the gameplay whatsoever and simply be a cosmetic aesthetic change? You know what I mean? Like maybe you would have a purple gun that you can't do the camo for on your own. Like that would be a rare camo that you would get. Would you prefer that instead? I would like the cosmetic changes. And also, in addition to that, maybe... If they went that route, you know, the whole CSGO route, quote unquote, then perhaps we could sell these items on some type of marketplace. Because if you guys don't know, this whole, it's called the black market in Black Ops 3. Uh, in CSGO, you can actually sell your skins and knives and stuff on this little marketplace and get real money for it, which is an awesome thing, you know. I think that, uh, 
I actually just made a video about this, but White Boy 7th Street, if you guys don't know who he is, he literally gave me like, I don't know, probably $200 worth of stuff the other day. Like, real money. If I sold that stuff, I would have real cash money. And if you can do that in Black Ops 3, then that would be pretty cool too. You know, you get these skins and they don't affect the gameplay, but you know, you just look really cool when you have them. And in addition to that, if you say, oh, I'm bored of my hatchet knife, I'll go ahead and sell that. Maybe you make 50 bucks. You know, I think that that would be really cool. And that's how I would prefer these supply drops to be. I prefer them to be purely cosmetic. I don't want them to be crazy variants or anything like that. I thought the variants were fun, but I could see how somebody would think that it was, or how they would be unfair. You know what I mean? I could definitely see how they're unfair. And so I think purely cosmetic changes would be the best way to use supply drops. Let me know what you guys think for sure. Subscribe if you're new. If you made it to the end, go ahead and say supply drops are back in the comment section below. That way I know you made it to the end of the video. Love you guys a ton and I am over and out.